nation against nation, brother against brother. Good evening and welcome to Deliverance Church Langata. This is the Biblical Perspective Program. Uh, we appreciate Kingdom TV. We appreciate any other channel that would carry this out. But uh, we are addressing, especially right now, we're talking about matters government. And we appeal that you listen to us uh, as people who are trying to address issues, more issues than personalities, uh, discussing about Kenya politics. And um, uh, with me again is uh, Vincent Kimosop, uh, uh, one of the leaders of the Kenya Christian Professionals Forum, a believer in Christ, devoted to the cause of Christ, and occupying the public corporate space with a clear agenda of glorifying God. And Karibu Sana. Asante Sana. Yeah, so, um, so I will want to give you opportunities now that you have heard the newspaper yeah. to maybe highlight because this is, this is what is there. But, uh, from a regional perspective, the games and the African Union, uh, sorry, the African Cup is going on. We also are seeing uh, the whole issue around um, formation of alliances mm -hmm. towards the election. We have three so far. Uh, there is Azimio, there is uh, Kenya Kwanzaa, and then there is OKA, that is uh, One Kenya Alliance. Mm. Um, the other thing that uh, uh, is interesting to observe is uh, uh, we, uh, uh, our parliament uh, is on the last, uh, uh, is on the last, we, 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 the calendar mm. is uh, the, the, the budget they are discussing, they are preparing uh, uh, the last budget under Uru's administration mm. and the first budget under the next administration. There will be adjustments, of course, with the changes. Uh, mm. But basically, uh, that is what you're seeing uh, uh, that is covered in our papers. Um, I think something that will be of note, because we are supposed to take care of those who are uh, affected, mm. Mm. is that we've ha we have a massive drought in the northern part of our country. Right now. Yeah. So that, uh, and this is my appeal to churches. This is my appeal to institutions, to individuals, to mobilize resources, mobilize food, uh, so that if we can get fine and ways of sending this to our people, and brothers who are suffering in the northern part of our country, this is important. I think also since we are in the Kingdom TV, we can uh, appeal to the resources that are beyond mm. ourselves. And this is resources that are uh, uh, pray that the Lord will bring rain. Uh, mm. My brother, yeah. know, uh, just, uh, I, I don't know, maybe we can pray towards the end of this program. Yes, yes, we can. Is that uh, God may bring rain to that part of the yes. world. Yes. Because... Mm. Uh, uh, they, they are pastoralists. Yeah, so yeah. You, are, you hear of testimony stories, people feeding their cows on cartons, mm. stories of people just eating one meal per day, wow, literally. So wow. I think um, we should care about the vulnerable, should care mm. about those who are, who are poor in our midst, mm. uh, and also appealing to state agencies and, and to county governments that don't uh, come out clearly. Let us uh, see how to cover the shame mm. uh, that some of our people and the pain are going mm. through. Yeah. yeah. Well, I know that uh, the church has responded, and we ourselves, even as a local mm. church here, mm. have responded to the pride of Kenyans who, be, who are facing starvation for famine. Yeah. Uh, we uh, remember we... Uh, we have taken food from here and into some of the areas, like not too even far from Nairobi. I mm. remember this time we took food to a place called uh, Deya. Mm. Deya is not too far. Yeah. Uh, it's from Kikuyu, the Goto area, you go further down. Yeah. And those people were in very serious crisis. Mm. We took food there, you know, and then uh, yeah. there's a time we took food to Mwingi. Mm. We've taken food to sections of Raikipia. Yeah. So, and, and this is very, very important <coughs> that the church is able to do this. Mm. Uh, and I appeal for, for all of us to think about what we can do. Yeah. And I think even at congregation level, we may still need to announce mm. so that people can be able to uh, bring out. In fact, many times we even, like through this COVID season, mm. there's a time we used to ensure mm. we had bags of food here. Yeah for people who are struggling to yeah. come by. Yeah, yeah. 
because that is that is that is a good thing to do. Mm. So now, yeah. uh, now when you think about the politics of Kenya, yeah. the politics of Kenya is take place in a framework of a presidential representative of the Democratic Republic, yeah. Yeah. whereas the president of Kenya is both head of state and, the, and of government. Yeah and of multi-party system according to the new constitution passed in 2010. Yeah. Executive power is ex ex exercised yeah. by the executive branch of government yeah. headed by the president mm. who chairs the cabinet that's uh, co composed of people chosen from outside uh, parliament. Mm. So uh, I thought that was very important for people to, to appreciate. Yeah. The president is elected for five-year term mm. by the people. Yeah. And, and uh, as on the 2013 March general election, mm. the constitution has two requirements for any candidate to be elected a winner. Mm. To win at least 25 of the, 20, of the, the, the 25, mm. Uh, let me read. Uh, f to win at least 25 percent vote of the majority in the 47 counties, yeah. and to garner 50 percent plus one vote of the total varied votes. Mm. If none of the candidates, of course, fulfill this, is usually a runoff. Mm. Yeah, and mm. uh, usually in the current constitution, the deputy president is the running mate of the candidate that is the presidential in the presidential election, mm. and all this. So now, in your own thinking. According to the formations that are taking place, yeah. what do you think you can appeal to Kenyans to, to, to help them in whatever decisions they make? Mm. Because decision about voting yeah. need to be premised on something substantive. You know, the, 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 I, I am... I don't know how to approach this. Yeah. The truth of the matter is that yeah. in our elections, mm. uh, we, we, have, we have issues. We have issues that are canvassed. You can see very clearly that the tangent and the direction that mm. uh, any party formation takes, either in terms of their, f their monetary, mm. their fiscal uh, uh, framework. Uh, you, you, even now, you can hear the mm. way uh, the former prime minister and Azimio, mm. you can see what is his focus on health care, mm. what yeah. is his focus on taxation, mm. economic recovery, youth engagement. Um, th that is clear. The same mm. to, the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the deputy president. Mm. You can see uh, focus in terms of job creation. Um, mm. the, the challenge usually happens, uh, Bishop, eh, mm. when we come to the way we con uh, converse our issues. Because okay. we, we, we prosecute our elections mainly on tribal formation. Yeah. At times, the, the, the noise on, uh, and the, the lens of the tribe takes a, a stronger, uh, 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 as in, what is it, gives, um, what can I say? You, you, we hear more the noise on the tribal form, uh, uh, mobilization mm -hmm. rather than the issues. But, but one of the things that I was telling you, uh, and mm. I said this in the previous show, yeah. is that progressively yeah. you are seeing a certain level of maturation. Yeah. And uh, I was commending the leaders of the central part of our yeah. country yeah. by saying, hey, hey, we have had this thing yeah. for the last uh, two presidents. Mm. And more so, we even had the first president of this country. I think it is time that this country gets a president from another part of the country. Mm. Now, I believe whether uh, the, the, that is a show uh, of a maturation of our democracy. Mm. Because it's not that central Kenya runs short of people who can no, run and become no, president. No. Yeah. Yeah, that, so for me, I think, are you getting, <laughs> as in, they could actually, some of them could be more qualified than some of the leaders from yeah. other parts of the country. Yeah. So I think we have to appreciate that. And I can tell you, Bishop, yeah. that is even going to affect the church because we have a church leadership in some of the key institutions in the faith space that have not enjoyed the kind of diversity that is being aspired at the yeah. uh, political level of our country. Mm -hmm. So that's how I see it. Wow. Yeah. Now, yes. a politics power in the Kenyan public discourse and yeah. uh, a recent event, yeah. the Church of the Province of Kenya, yeah. this was written by Garia Sabal, Frenchman, yeah. And uh, I like what he, he says because it is actually reason it's with a book I've written yeah. uh, about uh, 
the, 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 the founding father of the nation, yeah. where there's a statement to this effect. Mm. The church is the conscious of society. Mm. If we do wrong and you keep quiet, you shall answer for our mistakes. Yeah. And you know, this is, if you read my book, yeah, the, 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 the Moral Compass, moral, yes. I've, I've, I've cited, uh, I've cited yeah, this. Yeah. Ref in these terms, mm. Jomo Kenyatta is the first president of the Republic of Kenya to describe the role of the church and the boundaries of, uh, of official power mm. within the power within the you know I, I like i like what he said here notice that he's saying and this is that's one of the things i think is so important for us as church leaders to understand mm. i don't like the fact that we can easily be bought mm. or pocketed mm. by politicians mm. Because as soon as you have been pocketed by politicians, you lose your moral authority. You know, the, the, the issue, man of God, eh, is, yeah. is, is not the pocketing. The problem happens. Eh? Yeah. And uh, I used to question these things until I understood. Eh? Yeah. The, 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 he's a, there is a text in the Bible, I mm. think it's chapter 18 of the book of Acts, where you had uh, this gentleman called Apollos. Mm. Apollos was very intelligent, very mm. wise, yeah. and a very good debater. Yeah. And there was a couple mm. uh, uh, called Priscilla and Aquila. Mm. They, they had this gentleman called Apollos. And then when they listened to him, they realized that he only understood the gospel up to the place of John the Baptist. So what did they do? They took Apollos into their house and instructed him better. And mm. he understood the gospel. And the Bible says that he was of great help to the body of Christ after yeah. that experience. Mm -hmm. At times, man of God, you know one of the advantages that you have, and mm. I want to tell you this so that even you, you can have more grace mm. for those who are perceived to have been pocketed. Eh? Yeah. Remember, you are a, a, a minister of the gospel in a city. Yeah. You are a minister of the gospel who, uh, who, has, who has studied to the PhD. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You are the minister of the gospel who, 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 has, um, who has understood your space and your unique place in the body of Christ, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. place of leadership. Yeah. At times, some, some of the people who uh, can easily be uh, swayed by politicians mm. do not have that level of exposure. Wow. Yeah. So some of them are, are truly genuine. Mm. They, they, they love the Lord. They, you mm. cannot question their calling. Yes. But their level of exposure and their, in, in their work with the Lord, they haven't gotten to that place. Mm. So I normally tell people who paint the church with one brush, that mm. we have millionaires from the mountain. But are all Kikuyu's millionaires? No. Are you getting the point? Yeah. So you cannot paint the, a, a, a place or a, a sector of a society with one brush. No, no, you, no. You no. have to uh, give grace and appreciate mm. that uh, there is more that they could offer. Mm. Yes. Uh, so, so I consider this, this uh, observation, I'm glad, yeah. because uh, even the quote regarding the church being a moral campus of society and the conscience of society you see this is something that has been um, restated by many 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 writers and it's a very very important mm. thing that the church mm. anywhere there is a church in this country yeah. we should understand we mm. have a role to be the moral conscience, conscience but we, you, of we, the nation but we have, of the society but remember my brother yeah. that even jesus had to uh, to, uh, to spend three years mm. with his disciples. This is our Savior and Lord. Three yeah. years. And you know mm. the first thing he did? He invited them to be before doing. At times, some of us are not ready to actually sit down to be. Yeah, we yeah. are ready to, to, to go and do. Because there is yeah. power in being. And what, did, what does he tell them? Uh, that remain in Jerusalem mm. until you and receive, you receive the, the power mm -hmm. of the Holy Spirit. So mm. I, I would say that... Um, it is important that, uh, 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 as in I used to make blanket judgments, but mm. the more I have appreciated, drew closer to the Lord, mm. the more I have actually re realized that we have to be very gracious, mm. not denying that there, some of them have gone beyond the boundaries, but also uh, lovingly and graciously restoring them uh, so that they can also be on the same path that we are on in mm. pursuing yeah. and finding Christ. Wow, mm. wow, wow. I think that's so a great that thing. If we, if we do that, then what is going to happen? We elevate them. Well, yeah. my thinking, and I encourage pastors <coughs> like me and others, because we are all over the nation. Mm. 
Let me tell you, if the interreligious community, because yeah. there are places where maybe the Christian dominance is not that pronounced, yeah. so you have the Muslims or maybe the Hindus. So if we, even if we approach these matters from an interreligious yeah. uh, council perspective, yeah. getting, getting people who will stand up for what they believe yeah. uh, and advocating for peaceful existence, we should have them all over the country. Yeah. I don't think we should have a big struggle uh, to have that. And refusing to necessarily feel that we have an obligation for, for, uh, for money or anything, but they say, well, we say we, we are serving the public. We know that money answers all things, but money is not everything. So, so we appeal to all of uh, those that are following the program with us yeah. to, to, to understand that the church has a, a right of in, to intervene in a situation where there is a moral breakdown, mm. the church can bring moral restoration. Yeah. And uh, that, that's the way and, that and, we and can... Restore, actually, the word is, eh? Yeah. The, the, uh, the rest, the, the, how restoration looks like, yeah. it is when the word of God, the Bible says the entry of the word of God brings mm. light and right. understanding to simple things. Yes. So when the word of God enters a place, and then it brings light. Yes. The, the first thing is then that it transforms the place. Mm -hmm. And we start by transforming the people. Mm -hmm. Then the people transform the area. Then after the transformation, we now go to formation. Yes. Whereby we change in shape uh -huh. from what used to be to the new identity that, that we have. Yes. That, that is how I, I, would, uh, I would recommend. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, wow. So again, uh, in the public domain. Yeah. Uh, that politicians are very, very busy mm. analyzing the unity between uh, the current deputy president and the former uh, vi uh, vice president, yeah. and who is the leader of the, uh, a a you know, ANC. And we need to appreciate that it took a very bold step yeah. for Mr. Mondavadi to agree to come as a partner to constitute <laughs> a, a, a not, <laughs> not, not, not decide that. Because for me, yeah. I was thinking that he was coming because he wanted to be like the, uh, the running the deputy, the, the dep You know what happens, eh? Yeah. You, 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 you have to you, do you, the balancing yeah, well. You have, to, uh, you have to do your mathematics well. The truth of the matter is that Musalia Mudavadi also appreciates, uh, yeah. as does uh, the deputy president, that if you have, if you don't also offer the the mountain, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> man of God, if the mountain don't see a place, if they don't see themselves well placed in that uh, in the in the in the in the in the, in the high table, then uh, that which is a significant percentage yeah. of, the, of the vote, uh, that's that is a concern. So I think. Uh, the, from the look of things is that moving forward, our country is going to be a country governed by coalitions. We, 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 yeah. we, it looks like that, mm. is, the, that is the future. Mm. That, uh, what are you putting on the table? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah this is it. And, and you see, yeah. like you are correctly saying, yeah. anybody coming, yeah. and I think even the deputy has said now he's open for any any coalitions that be can be because even... he cannot make it. You yeah. he cannot win this election on its own. On its own. Yeah. And, and that is why uh, you can see very clearly even the former pre Premier mm. has had to bring all those parties under Azimio. Yeah. And so you have the Azimio movement and then you have the... And, and it, will, it will... The Kenya Kwanzaa and also the One Kenya Alliance. So that, yes. that, those, that is the formations uh, we are seeing moving into the election. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> very interesting that uh, we still have uh, uh, this conversation about officers who are, uh, who are using guns. Officer shot wife then turned gun on himself. No, now, the, from the, where the, you stand, yeah, well, this, this is a part of what we have kept defining as mental illness. Yeah, the, 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 it's the, 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 there is a rising concern about mental health in the yeah, country. Yeah. And uh, this could be attributed to many things. Uh, mm. One of them could be the social safety nets are becoming uh, 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 a waning. Yeah. So the, the, um, 
when the social safety net are winning, uh, what happens is that we, 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 people are isolated. And yeah. when people go through storms and mm. the challenges of life, is it at times the, 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 this is some of the things that happens. Eh? And remember, the Bible says that uh, the, the rains, that, uh, the two builders, Mm. Uh, where, where, where have you built? Are you building on the strong or are you building on the, on the, on the weak foundation? So when storms happen and, and you are not well anchored, these are the, the, some of them come in form of uh, uh, mental yeah. That's why yeah. it is important, even when you're in a, in a ministry, uh, programs like counseling, mm. programs of uh, uh, personal development, programs yeah. like support, uh, you are as strong as the people who are standing around you. Yeah. They, they, they are challenges. So I would say uh, issues of depression. Remember unemployment. You know, today we've not even talked about economy. Uh, 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 the, 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 uh, people have lost jobs. Mm. And, and can tell you from the surveys that some of the jobs that have been lost, man of God, mm. is that some of them will never be uh, recovered. Mm. So when you when you are facing and, and uh, when you're facing that reality, remember uh, work and jobs define men. Yes. So when men don't have jobs and opportunities, some of them turn into these options. They're oh, not the best, wow. uh, but they, they require our support. Okay, I, I, okay, I okay, wanted okay. to say something. I yes, saw yes. something here yeah. that I thought would be important. Eh? Yes. This is about the uh, workers mm. in the um, uh, private security sector. Yes. And then I think there was another story covered mm. about even... Um, People in the media mm. uh, and the, in the arts industry who mm. are moving and joining politics. Mm. I am concerned that there is an increased uh, appetite for many, even, even people among young people, mm. to run for offices. Yeah. As to whether service is really to the people is what there, there is in their hearts eh, is another thing. I, have, I, uh, I was training some young people yesterday and mm. I realized that most of them are actually looking for jobs. Ah. Uh, the, 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 the primary call to serve is not the driver of many of them. And, and that concerns me because uh, leadership, according to Aristotle, is not for the merchants. Leaders yeah. is for the philosophers, the philosophers and the lovers of the republic. Yes. So if we, if we get to a place whereby those, mm. who are in, um, those who are seeking to run for positions mm. are not inspired yes. uh, and, by, and, uh, 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 and moved by the love for the people, it mm. becomes a concern because our role model, Jesus, mm. who is the role model of servant leadership, says that when he saw people who were being tossed from one side to another, he was moved with compassion because the people were like a sheep without a shepherd. I, I, how I pray that in the elections of 2022, man of God, mm -hmm. that uh, God will raise shepherds, people who will love this country. Mm. That is my prayer and desire. Mm. And uh, I, I really pray that we can uh, say and speak that much as a people and as a country, mm. and a lot is going to happen. Yeah, I realize our time is uh, getting yeah, close. Yeah, we are uh, going program, to pray, uh, pray for, yeah, for, for we, those who are in the northern part of our country. Yeah, because I think that's a good thing to do, yeah. that we can we can take uh, turns where you pray and then uh, I come pray. to close so, the program. But the key thing is yeah. Kenyans everywhere, again, yeah. consider how you can yeah. be able to service your business, yeah. farm when you need to farm, mm. do things that will bring some food to the table. Mm. Don't waste all your time and energy running around with the politicians. They're looking for votes. And the key thing is that you will still give them votes when times comes for the votes. But please, mm. purpose, I have, my time is precious. Yeah. Because by the end of the day, <laughs> uh, you know, this thing sometimes can be something that is so time consuming and really, and I know we, we, it's like now we are used to this, but by the end of the day, you, you will go home. Everybody will go their own way. Yeah. When you go home, will there be food on the table for your children? Mm. Uh, so, Priest, I, 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 I am very, very, I'm fully persuaded that we should yeah. give a thought of what we should do. So, we want to take the next two minutes to pray. You're going to mm. pray and then we're going to close. But we are praying for God to show mercy. Send rain our way. Mm. We want to pray that God will continue to, 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 to uh, convict our politicians so that we can be able to maintain political hygiene, mm. so that we do not incite, we do not uh, demonize people just because of the, our diversity. It's not necessary. 
Go ahead and pray. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord Jesus, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for your grace. Uh, we thank you for oh your faithfulness. We, O oh Lord, mm. pray for our brothers and sisters in the northern part of our country. Mm. We have seen their pain. We have seen our Lord and our God, what they are going through. Uh, and we pray, our Lord and our God, that you may bring help. We pray, our Lord and our God, you may open heavens. We pray for rain. We pray for a recovery and restoration. We even pray that you may stir up the hearts of Kenyans, Lord, to stand with our brothers and sisters in our northern part of our country. You love them, Lord. You created them in your image. And, Lord, you desire that, Lord, they may know you. And, our Lord, seek you. We bless you, Lord. We honor you and we exalt your name. We praise you for this opportunity. This we pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. Lord, we continue to petition you as we think about Kenyans who, because of a lack of proper rain patterns, are in serious crisis. Mm. Animals are dying. Mm. Oh, God of heaven. Yeah. Because you're merciful and gracious, mm. we pray that you look at to the Kenyan communities in Northeastern. Mm graciously mm. and give them reprieve. Mm. We also pray for our politicians mm. that they will take great responsibility mm. to use words that are civil, words that are not destructive, mm. and to understand that we words are seeds. Mm. Like your word tells us the life and death is in the power of the tongue. Mm. It also told us in the book of James that the tongue is a, is a, is a, is a, is a word of iniquity. Mm. Uh, because in the tongue we bless and also we we curse at the same time. I mm. pray that you give our leaders greater responsibility on, on how they use their tongues. Mm. Keep us peaceful, mm. keep us united, mm. and we continue to pray for our president particularly that God, your heart of grace and wisdom will rest upon him mm. to know how he steers this country securely mm. for the next few, uh, for, the, for the next several months, before we go to vote. Mm. We honor you because we pray trusting in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <laughs>